In a sprawling oil palm plantation in the Malaysian state of Perak, watermelon seedlings are sprouting from freshly plowed earth between palm saplings while rented cows graze in overgrown areas of the estate. A coronavirus pandemic-induced labor crunch has forced managers of the 2,000-hectare estate in Slim River to find creative ways to upkeep their fields, even as prices of the world's most consumed edible oil are near record highs. Malaysia, the world's second-largest producer of palm oil, is facing a perfect storm of production headwinds that will likely drag global stocks to their lowest level in five years. The Southeast Asian country is a microcosm of the difficulties facing producers of various edible oils across several continents, from Canadian canola farmers to Ukrainian sunflower growers, as they struggle to meet strong demand. Global food prices have scaled 10-year highs this year. The Food and Agriculture Organization's FAO price index is up more than a third since last summer, due in large part to a surge in the price of veg oils that are vital for both food preparation and as fat in numerous daily staples. In Malaysia, which accounts for around 33% of global palm oil exports, the average yield of palm fruit bunches in Jan June fell to 7.15 tons per hectare from 7.85 a year ago. Malaysian Palm Oil Board data shows a drop in average crude palm oil yields to 1.41 tons per hectare, from 1.56 tons over the same period last year. Many plantations were harvesting with two-thirds or less of the required workforce, after government coronavirus restrictions cut off the usual supply of migrant workers from Indonesia and South Asia. More than half a dozen plantation owners interviewed by Reuters said the lack of workers had forced them to extend their harvesting window from 14 days to as many as 40 days, a change that compromises the quality of the fruit and risks the loss of some parts of the fruit bunches. The Slim River Estate has delayed replanting and shut its nursery for the first time in 20 years to redeploy workers for harvesting. At Slim River, Ravi said around a quarter of the estate was facing a bagworm infestation that will skeletonize the leaves and cause small, fruit, bunch formation. He was referring to the larvae of the bagworm moth that grow and feed on trees. Neighboring Indonesia, the world's largest producer of palm oil, does not have the same labor shortage issues and output is expected to rise this year as more area has been planted to palm. However, operations at palm oil mills, where the palm fruit is converted into crude palm oil, have been impacted by COVID-19 restrictions, said Durab Mystery, director of Indian Consumer Goods Company and major consumer Gadre International. Meanwhile, farmers in western Canada planted canola into some of the driest soils in a century this spring, sending canola futures to all-time highs in early May. A July heatwave then scorched crops throughout the Canadian prairies, leading the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, to slash its estimate of canola output by 4.2 million tons to 16 million tons, the lowest since the 2012-13 season. U.S. soybeans have also been sapped by drought, with the USDA lowering its production forecast by 1.8 million tons in August from the month prior. That is expected to cut U.S. soybean oil stocks to eight-year lows and U.S. soil exports to decade lows. In Malaysia, worsening COVID-19 outbreaks will leave plantations starved of workers through the rest of the peak palm production window. Canadian farmers continue to face drought conditions, leading official agency stats can to pay canola output down 24.3% and yields down 30.1%. The pressure on stocks is already feeding through to consumer prices and the upward trend is expected to continue, especially as refiners lift prices to cover the surge in raw material costs. Singapore-based Wilmar International set a time lag between the surge in raw material costs and consumer price rises it imposed in the first half of the year had negatively impacted margins. Mewa Group, one of the largest refineries in the region, said average sale prices for its bulk goods and consumer packs rose almost 54% and 24% respectively in the first half from a year ago. With global consumers already facing general economic uncertainty due to the coronavirus pandemic, Further increases in edible oil prices will take a toll on many livelihoods due to the inelastic nature of food demand.